Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Hanging out with Avs analyst Mark Rycroft. He was our guest tonight here at the View House Centennial on Xfinity Monday Live. Look, we talked kind of about the state of this team and where they are. And you said off air you think Saturday or maybe those first five games coming back from the All-Star break going to be a real indication of how this season goes. It's so important. This nine-day break or nine, nine days without hockey because the Avs come back on the first for a practice play on the second, which is Saturday good timing for this team nothing was going right you know the first 25 games you had 15 wins your last 25 you had seven things were just falling apart they were getting unlucky playing tremendous hockey and coming out down to nothing what are you going to do so it comes down to this the west is no longer the best it's maybe 90 points gets you into the playoffs this year which is unheard of in the last 20 years 20 10 and 2 gets the avalanche 94 points and in the playoffs that's it nothing behind matters looking forward 20 10 and 2 but you have to win on home ice you can't expect the road to be friendly got to win at pepsi bring back that energy get the big line rolling get goaltending strong and just some solid defense from the d this team can do it with a top line that big and that good It'd be a shame if you didn't make the playoffs. you got to get it done. Yeah, especially the way they started this season. Oh, so now, good. still 32 games to go in this season. The Avs currently sitting eighth in the playoff standings. So we're crossing our fingers for postseason hockey here in Denver. But the bottom line is, when you look at this franchise and where they are, what they acquired in that trade for Matt Duchesne and the picks that they acquired, of course, you got Kale McCarr, too, who is absolutely tearing it up on the college level. The future of this franchise is very, very bright. It's so bright, and, and that's why you got to be careful against everybody wanting to make the big move, the big trade. It's not always the smart play. Many teams, like the Oilers, heck, like the Rangers, look at Philadelphia Flyers, make these big moves, and you don't get big dividends from it. So Kale McCarr, playing at, at UMass, uh, number one ranked team on the country, is probably the favorite to win the Hobie Baker at this time. Another is Connor Timmons. He was MVP at World Juniors last year. He's finally been sent to Loveland. He's had concussion problems, so he's a big uh, star, future star for, for this team. Now it's going to take some time to come over those head injuries. So it's a double-edged sword. you got to be relaxed. Yes, we have the best line in hockey. You don't want to waste that, but they're all 26 and under. Yeah. So patience might be the key here. Joe knows what to do. He's been around long enough. I'm sure some moves will get made, but it may not be blockbuster may not be needed so we'll see a lot of pressure on joe that's how it is being the gm that's exactly yeah. right the future's really bright looking forward and hopefully we'll be having a lot of fun talking about the next 32 games remaining for this team mark as always man enjoy the visit Pleasure. thanks thank so much you. for stopping by and thank you for logging on to cbsdenver.com